I'm here to talk about a topic. What do you do to control bleeding in an emergency? You may be a passerby uh, on a road. You may see somebody getting hit by a vehicle, a child fall or an adult fall and sudden outgush or outpouring of bleeding. So what do you do? The first thing to remember is to try and apply pressure on the area where the bleeding is happening. This helps all the platelets and clotting factors, so factors and proteins that help control the bleeding, come to rescue at the spot. Also, it reduces or closes the lumen or the inner part of the artery or the blood vessel that is supplying blood. So immediately halts bleeding. If at all it is a deep gaping wound, uh, getting a clean cloth and stuffing it and making sure that pressure is maintained after stuffing the wound also helps ensure bleeding to stop as early as possible. Apart from this, if you have a little more experience, Getting a clean cloth and tying what we call a tourniquet is nothing but a pressure uh, that's applied just proximal, so just closer to the body from where the injury is. Say there is a person who has a cut finger, so the blood supply comes usually from the arm and then to the finger. So making sure to apply pressure closer to the body ensure that the blood supply to this finger is reduced and hence the bleeding is reduced. Of course, try to seek onlookers help, other people's help and call uh, the emergency numbers, make sure that emergency reaches there at the earliest possible. If it is a small bleed like a nose bleed, make sure that the compression is placed at the tip of the nose. Make sure that the patient leans forward, does not swallow the blood, opens their mouth and breathes so that blood doesn't enter their stomach and make them sick. If the bleeding is not stopping after at least about five minutes of this pressure, in the meanwhile you have to try to arrange transportation so that the patient can be transported to the nearest hospital or emergency room at the earliest. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions about how to control bleeding in an emergency. Thank you.